Once in a small village nestled amidst lush green hills, there lived a wise old monk named Sen. People from far and wide would seek his guidance and wisdom. They would come to him with their problems, hoping to find solace and clarity in his words. One day, a powerful and boastful warlord heard about Sen's reputation and decided to test his wisdom. Filled with arrogance, the warlord marched into the village with his entourage, seeking an audience with the wise monk. As the warlord approached Sen's humble dwelling, he noticed the serene atmosphere and the calmness that surrounded the old monk. Determined to prove his superiority, the warlord entered and loudly proclaimed, I am the most powerful ruler in these lands. I demand that you acknowledge my greatness. Sen, unperturbed by the warlord's grandiose words, simply smiled and gestured for him to sit. The warlord, expecting to be showered with praise and admiration, grew increasingly frustrated by Sen's silence. What is the matter with you, old man? The warlord bellowed. Why do you not speak of my power and might? Sen continued to smile serenely and remained silent. The warlord, now seething with anger, drew his sword and pointed it at the old monk. You dare to disrespect me with your silence? I could end your life with a single stroke! Sen's smile never wavered as he calmly looked into the warlord's eyes. He then held up his index finger, signifying a request for a moment of the warlord's attention. Intrigued, the warlord lowered his sword slightly, allowing Sen to speak. With a voice as gentle as a breeze, Sen said, Do you hear the wind rustling through the leaves? Confused, the warlord strained his ears and indeed heard the soft rustling of leaves outside the hut. Yes, I hear it, he replied hesitantly. Sen's smile deepened as he continued. And do you hear the sound of the river flowing nearby? Again, the warlord listened attentively and could faintly make out the distant sound of water cascading over rocks. Yes, I hear it, he admitted, his anger dissipating. Sen then asked, Tell me, mighty warlord, did the wind and the river need to proclaim their presence to be acknowledged? Did they need to boast of their power and might? The warlord pondered Sen's words, realizing the wisdom within them. He slowly sheathed his sword and bowed his head in humility. No, they did not, he answered quietly. Sen nodded approvingly and said, True power does not need to be proclaimed or boasted about. It exists in the silence, in the calmness, and in the ability to listen to the world around you. Embrace the power of silence, and you will find strength that transcends mere words and actions. From that day forward, the warlord changed his ways. He learned to appreciate the beauty of silence, and sought wisdom rather than dominance. His rule became one of peace and harmony, and he never forgot the profound lesson he had learned from the wise old monk Sen. And so, the power of silence echoed through the village, inspiring all who heard the tale to seek the strength that lies within the quietude of the heart and mind. You see in life as you lived, true power does not require words or grand gestures. It resides in the serenity of silence and the ability to listen. Thank you for watching This Is Believe and Achieve Stories. If this story adds a little value to your life, then make sure you subscribe to Believe and Achieve. Until then, stay focused.